This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and so doing some tests and stuff, so I decided to cut a video to just talk to you guys about um, what's been going on with the improvements for the channel. If you can hear my phone, it's because it's right behind the microphone, I'm trying to mute it, which I should have did before I started recording, but hey, that's how janky we are on this channel. Anyway, so... So far, I'm pleased with my purchases. Um, only one real hiccup. Well, maybe two. Um, one being uh, my Turtle Beach Recon 50 um, Ear Force headphones. They work perfectly, like sound-wise. Um, I love them. But here's the deal. The removable boom mic doesn't seem to work. Um, I plugged it in to both of my mic ports on my computer for the internal um, motherboard card as well as my Sound Blaster X5 um, Extreme sound card and the mic is just not recognized whatsoever um, even when I plug it into to the headphones themselves it's not recognized so I'm gonna have to call Turtle Beach and see if they can replace that <coughs> God damn it, I got the hiccups. I'd have to call Turtle Beach and see if they can replace that. Let me take a swig. This ain't going to help none because it's alcohol. But anyway, it sure does feel good going now. Anyway, um, so going to have to see if they can replace it because the headset I got is a refurbished pair. And I'm curious to know if they will just send me one. I mean, there is a limited warranty and... I just got the headset less than a week ago, so they should just send the mic, which is all that needs to be done. After that, hopefully, things will work fine. Um, I may go forward with the review, though, because the reason I bought these headsets was generally just because I wanted to have a solid headset to be able to use while I'm recording podcasts. Or I'm doing what I'm doing now, which is recording commentaries, and that way I can um, go back and do some editing and things like that. Check out how the sound quality is and what have you, and be able to pick up certain things in the sound quality. But these, this is a good headphones. Um, for a low end Turtle Beach headset, they're good. Turtle Beach always makes some really good products, though. So. I wasn't surprised by the quality of this headset. Even though, if you ever saw the Recon 50 headsets, it looks like a cheap pair of headsets. But it's probably better than most headsets that you'll come across. Um, so, yeah, definitely please. Um, Turtle Beach, feel free to give me a sponsorship because I will definitely promote your products. I can't think of any time where I was not pleased with the Turtle Beach headset. This is the third headset I've had. Um, I still currently have my um, PX40s, so I'm good. I actually replaced Astros to get my Turtle Beaches back. That should say something about how pleased I am with Turtle Beaches um, products. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's working well for the most part. Um, the Elgato. HD 60 Pro, fantastic, um, loving the fuck out of that thing. It, not only does it make things more streamlined as far as my setup, like having the Elgato HD 60 and the original Elgato, they're cool, but having to, you know, daisy chain everything and have to run it through that USB cord, it was kind of a pain because the cords that they gave you for the USB weren't that long. So I remember with my original one, I actually had it dangling in between my um, TV stand and my computer stand because they sit next to each other. I live in a studio apartment, so you know it's not a huge amount of space. But at the same time, 
it was difficult because the way the, my um, computer desk is set up in, you know, in conjunction to where my PS4 is and then my TV, it just was a weird setup. So it was like there was no slack or anything. Whereas I have a bunch of long HDMI cords. Um, so it's nothing to run an HDMI cord from my TV to the back of my computer. And then from the back of my computer to my PS4. Although the cord, the HDMI cord that they actually give you with the Elgato HD60 Pro is quite long. Um, so that helps too. Um, they facilitate that. So it's just great. And then, then to top it off, productivity is increased. Um, I just got finished right before I recorded this recording some footage to show you guys and it's going to be uploaded probably before this video so you'll see it of MOB um, the show 16 um, just to like give you guys a sense of what the quality of the video with this um, device will be when you use it in standard as opposed to maxing out the settings but either way when it renders the video to your hard drive it's like that um whereas using the usb devices for elgato it was like a painful process in a way um to have data transferred it used to take me for what i recorded like between 40 minutes to an hour generally it would take me a good half an hour or more to render from once i stopped recording for it to render into a video from the hd 60 um to my hard drive my internal hard drive as opposed to with this the hd 60 pro the internal capture card three minutes tops i mean it moves so quick and i'm able to use my computer without much issue because i have 16 gigs of memory um, but even then, with 16 gigs of memory and an i7 processor, um, rendering a recorded video on the HD60 external card was a pain in the butt. But with this, the internal card, that shit just loads like extra quick. And I'm able to like get to it um, really fast. So just imagine if I do live comps, which are generally between 5 to 10 minutes. I'll be able to pump them out um, immediately if I wanted to, which is great. I, this is really, really great. I love that about this. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome. The review will be soon. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do the quality video so you guys can see if you see any differences um, in the settings. Um, I generally, when I do um, recordings, I max everything out on the Elgato software, um, but I just want to show you guys what's the big difference between the two, so you can get a feel for what you would get if you purchase the product. Um, and then, of course, what I'm talking to you guys on right now is the Blue Yeti microphone, which I love to death. Um, the only, I guess, issue I have, it's not even about the microphone. Um, because I think the microphone's great. Uh, I love the fact that they give you a base that's heavily weighted. So if you want to sit it on your desk, you don't have to worry about tipping over or anything. If you position your mic in a certain way, that it, it works fine. Um, and I definitely am not displeased by how clear it picks me up. Um, my issue right now is that I have it on a boom arm, which is connected to my computer desk, which is connected to my computer desk right above where I have my PC. And I don't have like a cooling system or anything like that in my PC. I just have regular fans and the vibration from the fans, it's generating a loud enough hum to where this mic, which is really good, is picking that hum up. So. That background noise that you guys hear, you know, it's the hum of that um, and uh, other things that are sitting on this desk. Uh, so 
I had to order a um, shock mount because I wanted to like cut down on the hum. Like you guys could probably like feel me when I move my mouse like that. And I need to tighten up some screws on my desk too. That's another thing. It's a little loose right now, but you probably could hear that in the recording. Or like if I were to type, you would probably really pick that up. Um, and shock mounts are supposed to limit that noise, if not eliminate it. So I found a shock mount for thirty bucks. Um, Audio f Auto f uh, Phonics is the name of the country company. Um, which is basically, I guess you could say a generic brand because the only shock mount I've seen for the, um, for, uh, what's his name? The, oh gosh, I just drew a blank for the Blue Yeti has been their own product, um, which that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Um, so we are going to have to get this one because the Blue Yeti one is like fucking sixty, seventy dollars. This one's thirty, which is a much more presentable price. So glad to pick that one up. But yeah, um, everything's pretty smooth right now, going well. Glad. Um, I made the purchases that I made. Now I'll just be able to do my setup, get back on, and doing the podcast and stuff for you guys. Hopefully, that'll be extra soon. Um, yeah, I can't wait. Definitely can't wait. But anyway, um, as always, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. This your boy Black Makers in the Macho. Deuces.